Hello everyone, welcome back to another banner reaction. I got a lot of good reception from the last one, so I decided to keep doing this. Uh, I'm DTM as always, and yeah, um, I think we're expecting bridal banners um, this year, this time. Uh, I mean, the tweet said it was bridal, and this, honestly, I have like no idea what the silhouettes are. <laughs> like, this is one of the, I mean, the last few ones we could barely guess, but this one just threw me into a loop. Um, I heard people were talking like the right was Juno, and that leads me to believe maybe like the left could be Shanna, and it could be like a FE6 theme. I also heard like Tanya, Hinoka. Um, yeah, as for like my wish, I mean, I would like a Bridal Lucina. Like her design is in Warriors and original concept art in Fire Emblem Awakening. But I mean, I'm not going to riot if it doesn't happen. But, I mean, come on. Lucina needs, like, an alt. It's been, like, three years, okay? Ninja Lin happened, so you can't complain. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see what we get. Just gonna start playing now. The bouquet. Okay, good. For a second there, I thought they were gonna show them all. But let's see who our first one is. Oh my goodness, what is this? Ah, a couple in love bound together by a holy Saul? It is a oh, it is, uh, it is Binding Blade theme. Wait, was that the person on the silhouette? Oh gosh, cavalry schools are here. More, are we going to get B-Duel Cav? <laughs> Reinhardt's going to terrorize Arena again. Oh, it is Shanna! That is Shanna, right? What do you think of the yeah, difference? okay, so that means the next one will be Juno. All right, easy clap. Okay, we got another far trace, and I think that's a perf bow. Okay. Here comes the bride. Oh wait, wait. How are they going to? I forgot to talk about this, but I'm curious to see what they do for the harmonic. And it is Juno. Okay, Shanna and Juno. Once again, I okay, bride, those people were right. And it makes me just as but you know, I'm fine with this actually. Time. I think this is pretty nice. Juno's the demote. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, what are they going to do for the uh, harmonic? Or are they just gonna do a duo? What? Wait. Katria? Like a true bride. You're the best. Okay, wait. Who's? It's the other person was. What, what was her name? I mean, I cannot remember. <laughs> Okay, I need to look through all these skills By again. Side. Wait, what was that? That seemed really strong. Harmonized skills. Uh, desperation. Oh, that could be really strong. Probably... In, you unfortunately, you probably won't see much use you. out of this in ARO, because dual hindrances are everywhere. <laughs> Since the Ninja Lin incident, so alone. yeah. We bring love. Okay, Juno, Katria. I, for the life of me, cannot remember who the other Pegasus sister was, and I know I'm going to get flamed for that. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take a look at these units here. Obviously a little bit disappointed that um, there was no Bridal Lucina, but you know, I'm fine with it. Um, I personally would have preferred like, uh, in terms of alts for Lucina, like a Hoshiden one based off of like the Hot Spring Scrambles, or uh, the Summer one based on Cypher. No, M Mia does not count. <laughs> but yeah, let's go over these skills and these units. I don't think any of these would be worth pulling for, except for maybe Sea Duel, a Cav. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. We get it. Oh shoot! What the? Hello? Okay. Something weird happened with the video there for a second. I'll probably cut that out. But yeah. All right, let's see what Saul has here. So, ooh, a new uh, a new inheritable staff. If unit is within three spaces of two allies, it, 
in a support partner pair grants those stats to unit during combat and neutralizes foe bonuses. Okay, I don't know. This this doesn't seem like a good stat to me. Um, yeah, I, I don't see this. Because it relies on support, that means it's instantly dead in ARD. Um, and a lot of the staff users you use in ARO um, uh, are... They want their preferred staff, like Bridal Fiorm, Loki, Flane. So unfortunately, I don't see this getting much use. And I mean, I think it could be good if you have like a couple staff units um, that you want to do for like PVE content or maybe Arena now that Sea Dual Cav is in here. <laughs> but yeah, Return Plus though, that is going to be a hot commodity and Odd Recovery 3. Yeah. That, that, I think, would be the two big things here. Um, return plus, Seedle Cavalry 4, and Odd Recovery. So this is basically uh, fodder. <laughs> fodder. The designated fodder unit. Of course it's on the mail, right? Okay. Who would Seedle Cavalry be good for? Maybe Veronica? Um, like, that's the only thing I think of. Or, like, your standard Cav healers, I think. I think they would get a lot of use out of this. Um, obviously, Odd Recovery is, like, super well-known to be very powerful, so I, I don't think I need to explain it. He barely got the kill there. Wow. <laughs> Alright, Shanna. Man, th there's no Roy and Lena? Come on, duo. Come on. You're, you're leaving money on the table. Okay, let's see here. We got Rose Quartz Bow. Um... Effective, attack plus three, if units initiates combat or is within two space of ally, deals damage equals 20% of unit speed and grants attack and speed plus six to unit during combat. Okay, this is pretty good. True damage is always good, um, especially one that is based on speed, so I assume she will be fast, although she has AD far trace. I thought it would be SD far trace, but maybe that's just like already present. I, I can't exactly remember uh, the young banner with, uh, um, what's, uh, Tana, baby Tana, yeah. But we got a new rhyme skill. Yeah, these cancel skills, I think, the far trace ones, um, I don't know. They haven't been meta impacting as, like, the save skills have. But I think, overall, this will probably be a very good unit because of that true damage. Yeah. And of course, we got the Kanto effect. And we got Juno. Once again, I am our demote. And it makes me just as happy as it did the first time. I mean, at least it's not the groom, am I right? <laughs> okay. Let's... Is, is this a... I forgot to see her weapon type. So let's see. Grants attack res plus four to allies within two spaces during combat. If unit is within... Okay, so this is basically like joint drive, attack, and res. That, that, that's pretty good, actually. As, as a supporting unit, obviously it won't beat out uh, M. Corrin or uh, Brave Lucina or even Flane. But, you know, this is pretty decent. And I think a lot of uh, units could make use of this, whether that be supporting or offense. So... Yeah. And acrobatics? Acrobatics? Oh, dang, that's huge. Okay, blue. Maybe I should merge that into my Spring Lucina. Okay, I'm so sorry, I cannot remember the name of, like, the middle sister. I, I just cannot. Oh, man. Especially... Okay. Let's see here. Of course we have a D near trace. A speed death Ryan and Moonbow, and Wedding Bell Axe. Accelerate special trigger. Okay, that's really good. At start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of ally, grants unit can move to a space adjacent to an ally within two spaces. And triangle attack to unit within two spaces. To unit and ally within two spaces. If unit initiates combat, or if unit is within two spaces of ally, grants attack and speed plus six to unit. Okay, what's triangle attack? If unit initiates combat and two or more allies. Two or more? 
excluding unit, with with triangle attack, are within two spaces of unit, unit attacks twice. That's the brave effect. Okay, so this is a very, very conditional brave effect. Honestly, way too conditional, to be perfectly honest. Uh, maybe, I'm trying to think, maybe this could be good for, like, Gale Force? Um, yeah, because, like, this is, you can, like, not do Dive Bomb. Not have to inherit Dive Bomb, normally. And instead, for, like, you know, flyers that want that. And instead, you could just get the Brave effect without any, like, restrictions to your, like, weapon might as normal. But, I don't know, this seems a really restrictive. It does grant the Order's buff, though. Um, so that is actually really good. The Order's buff, I think, will be the main selling point here. Um, I just... I, we'll have to wait and see how people um, utilize this in, like, Gale Force team comps or... Uh, or like other strategies. I, I'm always a fan of movement. So I think this could be really good. Maybe for hit and run actually. I think I think Gale Force and Hit Run this will be really good, but I don't know. I think we'll have to wait to see. Ooh, ah, oh, this this uh background setting is super nice. Okay, what is this harmonic skill? Ooh, I like the little chibis. Those are really nice. Um So basically, uh, grants the blades, desperation, and if unit initiates combat, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Okay, so basically desperation and auto-follow-up. Um, I think that could be useful. Um, unfortunately, I don't think harmonics have the dual effect, so you can't really use this in arena unless you're willing to take a score hit. But otherwise, I think this is pretty decent. Again, unfortunately, thanks to the Ninja Lin incident, uh... It, it's really hard to use dual or harmonic skills anymore because literally every team, every defense has like a has a dual hindrance structure now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think uh, this skill, this harmonic skill, will be the main selling point for this unit. I think the order's buff and seeing if there's a way to use it to. Um, to initiate like either cool gale force or hit and run strategies, I think will be where this unit will shine. Um, a bit iffy on the consistency though, but I, we'll, again, we'll have to wait and see. I honestly like fallen Edelgard is just super bonkers, <laughs> so I don't know. This will definitely not beat out fallen Edelgards. Um, but yeah, yeah. I wonder who our free unit is, actually. Let me uh, check my phone and see who the free unit is. Oh, sorry for the sound. Here. That is uh, my you. phone. Wait for me. You're not okay. Yeah. A zealot? Oh, shoot. Who was Need zealot in FE6 Rub. again? Okay, I, I really need to replay MV6 at some point. <laughs> I can't remember the middle sister or who Zealot is. Um, or is Zealot in Echoes? Oh man, it is way too late of a night right now. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, those are my reaction. Obviously not as uh, exciting as like um, my last one because I did not expect Fallen Morgans to appear at all. And that was like something I really wished for. But hopefully, you know, you, you all still enjoy it, and it's enjoyed my, like, first impressions. Again, these are just first impressions. These units could be way, way better, or way, way worse than I initially think. Um, we'll have to check their stats once they're data mined and all of that jazz. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy, and again, please um, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, like this video. It really means a lot, especially as someone who's trying to grow this channel. And yeah, can't wait to see y'all next time. See you then.